We've seen that one way to measure a torque is to use the perpendicular distance measure to look at the force vector, extrapolate it if need be, and work out the perpendicular distance from that to the axis, multiply that by the force. But there's another method. Now, both methods should give the same answer. Use whichever one is most convenient, whichever one you find simplest. Let's say you've got some shape and it's rotating about a hinge over here, and why not? And you're applying a force, so I don't know, like this. So the perpendicular distance method we've just said is you keep working out an imaginary line through the force vector and you drop a perpendicular onto it and it's the strength of the force times this distance here. But there's another way to do it. What you can do is you can draw a line from the hinge to the place where the force is actually being applied and then break the force up into two components a component towards the middle and a component at right angles towards the middle. And the perpendicular distance is this component, the force component that's at right angles, times this distance here. So let's try and work that out in a practical situation. Let's imagine we have a wheel, say a radius of 0.3 meters, and let's say we're applying a force to the rim, but the force is at an angle. So if we draw that's the tangent to the rim, let's say our force is 50 newtons, and that angle there is 30 degrees. What now is the torque? So what we need to do is draw this line here to where the force is being applied from the axis, and then we need to break this force into two components one of which along here, and one of which up there. So we're going to have the two components like this. And if that's theta, this is also going to be theta. So this one is going to be 50 cos theta, and that component is going to be 50 sine theta. And the torque is equal to this distance, the torque is written tau is equal to this distance here, which is 0.3 meters, times the component of the force that's at right angles to it, which is 50 cos theta, which comes out as 13 newton meters.